is a right triangle, of course. What am I on, example three? Yeah. And let's say this side is five, and uh, this side is, um, what's reasonable? Nine, maybe, you think? Comparatively with my picture? And we're going to try to find this one. I'm going to put theta up here. All right, now it's the exact same thing it was before. You have to look at the angle and figure out which side do you have. Which sides do we have? Adjacent and opposite. Is this ringing bells? Do you remember doing this before? Okay, opposite. So it's the tangent now of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. And you can't cross multiply this, right? Because this is not, this right here, look up, this is not tangent times theta. This is the tangent of the angle theta, like it's part of it, okay? It's not the word tangent times the number theta. It's the tangent of whatever the angle theta is. So to figure this out, you do an inverse tangent. You do an inverse every time you're trying to find um, an angle. So I'm going to do an inverse tangent of 9 fifths, and that will tell me what theta is. So in my calculator, I'm going to hit second and then the tangent button. Do you see how that brings up like that negative 1 by the tangent? That means inverse. And then you, can, you don't even have to figure out what 9 fifths is. You can literally just type in 9 divided by 5 there. Chemistry, maybe? Put it in your calculator. Inverse tangent. Show your partner how to do it. They open one of those art tables. Our tables that like hinge out, you know what I mean? And they like slammed it down. It's fine, nobody's dying. All right, so uh, theta on this one, you should have gotten 60.9 degrees. Did you get that? Right now, we'll rhyme to the tenth. It made Harambe fall? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> like, all of your eyes got wide, like, not Harambe. <laughs> all right. 60.9 degrees. Do you feel like you understand this? Yes. Yeah. You want one more? No. No? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one more, but we're going to do it on the homework assignment. Okay? Did it all come back to you now? No. Was this needed? Yeah. Yeah. This one is like really fuzzy on the inside. I do. That's gross. Paper plus. Oh, yeah, I love paper. Yeah. Oh. I look at the little tiny space. Right. I'm not going to make you do this whole worksheet. We're going to do that alternate thing. Let's start with one. Uh, so we're going to do number one, number four, five, eight. One, four, five, eight, nine, twelve. Back side. Thirteen. Calm down. 16, 17. If only there was a little variety in this in my life. 17, 20, 21, 24. Just to give you space to work. 
All right, the one that I want to do together is number 20. The directions on this one say, solve each triangle. That means find every single side and every single angle. What a nightmare this is. Obviously, this is horrible for you. I'm so sorry that you got this dreadful news today. Man, I can't imagine anything worse, you know? Okay, so what do the angles in a triangle add up to? 180. Oh, I thought you being all happy, you got to find the sides and angles. Gosh, you're cute. All right, so you're literally like, yay. All right, 180 minus 90 minus 53 is what's left over? 37. Now we've got to find the other two sides. We're going to have to find one of them using Sokotoa. You could find both of them using Sokotoa if you want, or you can find one of them using Sokotoa and one of them using the Pythagorean theorem because you'll have two sides of a right triangle, right? So it's up to you. So somebody tell me what we're doing first. Somebody pick a side. No, pick a side. Well, we don't know which one it's adjacent to. Just pick a call it like AC or BC. You guys took geometry, right? BC. BC. Okay. Tan. Did you say tan? Get out of here. Can you imagine going to the office? And, and uh, you know how often I send kids to the office? Twice in, since I've taught here. Uh, one was a kid punched another kid in front of me. Um, and the other one was... I was trying to help a kid pass, and we finally got to the point where we passed uh, my class, and it was like impossible. We worked so hard at it, and then I said, all you have to do is turn that in, and then he tore it in half and threw it in the garbage. What? Uh-huh. After I had spent weeks with him personally trying to get him to pass, and I was like, get out of my room. And he was like, I'm joking. These are fake math assignments that I was joking that I tore in half. These aren't the ones we did together. And I was like, get out of my room. And he was like, this is a joke. You don't think this is funny? And I was like, my heart just fell on the floor. And I don't care if you're joking. I don't want to see you. Anyway, he felt pretty bad. Um, but <laughs> those are the two times that I've sent kids out. Um, so if I send you to the office, do that. Dr. Hansen would be like, who sent you here? And he'll be like, Ms. Nussbaum. And he'll be like, what? What, what happened? And then he'll be like, I said tan. <laughs> Not tangent. <laughs> All right. So which side do you want to use? Um, somebody pick. Somebody be brave. Pick, pick, pick. Left. 37 or, or I guess 37 is what we're saying. Left. My goodness, you guys. So 37, we've got 5 and x. So what are those relationships there? I have 5 and an opposite. H and an opposite. So I guess we're using what? Sine? So? So sine of, and if you have to write Sokotoa on the top of every paper, do it. OK? All right. So sine um, of, what do we say, 37? Yes. Is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Do you guys understand how there's a lot of different ways you can tackle this problem? Pick a side, pick an angle, lots of different ways to do it. So to find out x, you're going to have to take 5 times the sine of 37 in your calculator. Hello. To find out x, you're going to have to take 5 times the sine of 37 in your calculator, because if you cross multiply like that. These ones are pretty, pretty much to scale. You should get something smaller than 5 right now, right? So what did you get? Okay, so for CB, we got 3.01. And I think on this one, directions say nearest tenth, so would it just be 3? Yes. So it's just 3. All right, so CB is 3. And we know that the angle was 37. I just wrote it in there. And then how do we find the last one? Now, you could do another Sokotoa problem, or you could literally be like a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Three squared plus b squared equals five squared. 25 minus nine, am I going too fast? Is what? 16, and the square root of 16 is? 
four also, this is a three, four, five triangle. So that means that CA would be four, and that what angle A was 37 degrees. Uh, what triangle adds up to 180? So we just subtract it. We took 180 minus.